everyone, I'm coming on today to do our Altered Index Card Challenge for Creating with Grimpy Mummy. Now, the first week we had people and the week after that we had Wings on Things and this week we have Circles. I don't really have a great plan in mind, so I am just going to throw down a bit of colour and see where we end up. Really, that is where my mind does right at this moment. So, I am going to grab out some of my distress inks. Um, and I'm thinking I want a bit of kitsch flamingo. However, I don't want it as bright. So I'm going to pull out some saltwater taffy as well. And I've got picket fence there to try and pull it back a bit. And if that doesn't work, I have got gesso that I can use. So first plan is to get a bit of colour down. And as I said, I really don't have a plan in mind. I am just going with whatever's going on. And we are just going to dunk this in and pick up a bit of colour here and there. Yeah, that's turning out quite pretty. Perfect. So I'm just going to give this a little wipe up and we'll get it dried off and then we can start putting more layers on it. Right, so I have got my um, heat it tool which is starting to get a bit tired. I'm going to get a new one I think soon. Because I think it's maybe a loose wire. Um, it's just not as strong as it should be. Fine. Right, so I have got this stencil. Um, I don't know where I got it, it's just circles really, wee dots. Oh, I need to pull my chair in a bit because I'm getting sore, sore. Right, and I have got some Deco Art Metallic Acrylic Paint and it's in rose gold. So I'm going to try some of that on it and see how we go. I'm just giving it a wee shaky shake. And what I tend to do is get a scrap of paper. Do -do -do. What have I got up here? There we go. Perfect. Scrap of paper and just transfer a little bit of paint don't need a lot when you're stenciling. Um, I have got a sponge here that I will just spray a little to get a wee bit of movement in it. And it's not soaking, it is damp at best. And I am just picking up the paint and we are just going to stencil it through it. Now, 
and what I think I might do is actually um, leave the centre a little bit like a an ombre effect so I'm just going to come in here ever so slightly So I am hitting the paper, but I'm doing it very lightly. And then see how that is. That's fine. I'm not fussed that it's not perfect. Let me just clean this off quickly. I've got another cloth there. I have... <sighs> that will be right over. Over that, turn it round, give it a second, we rub at the back. There we go, that's perfect for me. Give this a wipe up. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just take the sponge and I'm going to ink around the edge of that. So what I'm doing is just dipping into the lid. And I'm just going to ever so slightly ink the edge of it. I do like things finished nicely. I'm a bit of a Where that's concerned. Might need to give that a second coat actually later on. corners that's fine Put back on that right next up what are we doing next I want to add a bit of napkin to it. I'm be nosy. Let's see what I've got. Right, I've got this here open. Just all my wee scrappy bits in there. So what I'm thinking is we're doing circles so I could use a little semi-circle up here and then do a bigger circle down there. So let me just see whether we can do that or not. Do, do, do. Let me see what I can draw around. Oh, typical when you want something, you can't find it. 
There we go, that's fine. So I am going to go around. Do you know what? I have got some here back there. I think we'll use that and I will just use a little bit of water to soften it up. So I'm just squishing a bit of water at the side here just to dip my paintbrush in and then we just go around like so that should be okay I just need to join up up here somewhere that's it so I am just going to gently try and pull this away that's it it's not a perfect circle but that's all right perfect enough for me and then I want this one to go up the corner so again just lifting some water with the paintbrush dropping it on and then come around this side Like this bit at the top seep in and put that ball of ribbon back, paint brush away, and then we should be able to just take that away from it. It's just got that little bit of floral in it, which just makes it a nice finish. Now, there's still a bit of colour here. So I will still put that back into my scrap box because you never know when you might need it. So if we put that on there like that, that means we can take off this bit and then that bit is going to come over here. I want a good bit of that on though. So we'll maybe have it like that. And then we'll have our focal image. Now I got a lot of the Tim Holtz bits and bobs last week. And one of the things I got was the photo portraits. And there was one that I really quite liked. Um, where is she? Try to find it. Some of them are quite mm, so so, but there is a few really cute ones on it. If I can find them, says me. Right, come on, you're annoying me now. Where are you? I should say, which doesn't go with that, I don't think. There's another wee girl that I really liked as well. She kind of reminds me of my younger cousin. Um, just a kind of serene face. Yep, that looks fine. So I'll go with that. Um... Do we need a bit of doily or fabric or something at the back? Let's see. Could you do that? 
and then maybe have a wee bit of canvas on as well oh. right let's get back to what we're doing so we are going to use some Dana Weight Clay Medium um, and it's the Ultra Thick Gel Medium and we'll use this brush I am sure it's clean I just hope I'm right so I want most of that on so I'm going from kind of the corner out onto the card so that it holds it properly and we get less wrinkles and this dries matte so it should be good and we can still see the circles through as well so we're still fitting them with the brief just make sure that edge is down well there we go quite like that let's get this top part done so I hope if you are following along with some of these videos that you pop over to Creating My Scrimping Mummy on Facebook. It's a really, really friendly craft group. There is absolutely zero tolerance with nonsense. Touch wood, we haven't really had any yet. Um, and I hope it stays that way. We just love crafting. We love having a wee blather and showing each other what we've been making it is for everything not just paper crafting so we have knitters and crochets etc um, and then we have this challenge weekly but there is everything else going on in between so it's been really nice having somewhere to go without any drama um, and everyone is super super supportive um, anytime anyone puts a an image up there is always comments I don't think I've ever seen a picture go without a comment um, it's just it's really nice so let's put the word back on that just now and we will wait a second for that to dry I want to chop this down a little bit though. Oops, why is that wet? Oh, I set it in the water. Duh. I need to dry that up a bit, I think. Otherwise, it won't stick. So I'm just coming in here and taking those extra leaves off. And just keeping that one wee cluster. No, I'm not sure if I want it at this side. I think I will. And then it means I can put my centre up there. I need to add a wee boat to this girl's head as well. Can't have her just looking like that. So let me see, that needs to come out a wee bit. That's perfect. Yep, now bows. Could add a wee um, flower ribbon bow. Nope, doesn't look right. Nope, 
Now what time? So let me see where else I've got rubbing. I'll just take the pearl off. I don't really like that big bulky pearl. And then we can just add a wee diamond or something to it. That's a bit better. Mm, maybe not. I'm just seeing it through the camera lens and it's just not looking right. Mm. What else have I got in here? I know I want something, I just don't know what I want on it. What's this? Wee flower. That's it. And I'll colour it obviously first. I'll add a touch of pink to it. So let me see with this. Hopefully that will work. So I'm just taking a bit of colour from the side of the pad. Then I am going to add a tiny little splotch of water. And then just paint over it really. I'm not worried if it's not perfect. Um, I'm not fussed about that at all. Just going to add a spot of water onto this. Try and get the rest of the colour out of it. I'll just give it another wee wave side of it. There we go. One last little splodge on the top and you can see actually pushing it out, which is good. Put the lid back on it and we'll dry it off. And also while I've got that on, I will dry off the cab too. Alright, I need enough dry. That's still damp. So I am going to just blot it and hope that I don't take all the colour out of it. But jam. <laughs> <sighs> Brilliant. So let me give that a blast. Perfect. 
perfect right so I'm going to trim these off I really quite like this it's coming out quite nice which I will obviously have to go back over with the rose gold over the top of the napkin just to give it that extra wee depth of colour come on you be good right you're annoying me now there we are. Not a hundred percent dry, so I am ending up tearing some of this. Never mind, we'll carry on regardless. There we go. Right, so next up we want some art glitter glue. And I want our little girl. Get her down first. Spread that out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is just pick up a little bit of the glue from the back here because I've used quite a lot um, to stick this little leaf set under as well. I'll leave that there a minute. Put her on there. A wee leakage at the bottom but that's fine. Then we are going to just stick that there. That down a little bit. And then I want to use some fabric tack or beacons, whatever you want to call it. If I can find it, it's here. Just to stick down the rest of this uh, leaf properly. So I'm just taking the tip there. And a little stream down the middle and I'll do the same here a little stream down the middle and a little blob and then just tap it down then we've got where did I put my little flower After all that, it's gone walkabouts. Typical. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Can't even see it down there. Ugh. Drives me nuts when I do this. Is it stuck on somewhere? Nope. Stuck on this. Nope. Right, plan B. Let's see if we've got another one in here. <laughs> oh. I haven't, but I've got a wee flower that might just work as well. Yeah, I like that. So that can go down there. Like that. Then we want a little diamond of some style. Mm. 
these are all just coloured myself. These are just ones that I have mixed the colour on with a marker pen. Right, come on, you. Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do here, because it's sliding off the glue, is just tip it back on itself. And then I will stick it on there. Come on, you behave. Might need to put something over that to hold it. I'm liking it. Grab this. Oh, oh sorry, it's went a bit dull. Hopefully, this will come back out. There we are. Now. I want a bit of this under there. I think I do. Right, so. And all I'm doing is just freeing this off a wee bit. This wee bit's giving me a bit of trouble, so I am just going to trim here, and then I can hopefully start again at the other side slightly, pull it back in. That's fine. Don't need it absolutely shredded. Okay, now for a word. Word, 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 word. I think I want a wee floral word. would be nice if I can find that. Mm, don't think I'm going to find that. What's that one? Okay, eat, laugh, thank you, bless, laugh, journal, joy. Beautiful. I think we'll go for beautiful because she is quite beautiful. Oh. I would have liked a turn on. Um, or infinity or something like circles have no beginning, no end. But we don't have it so we just need to get on with it. So I'm going to need a bigger bit. I thought I was going for a thin border, so if I chop along here, then I will stick it down so I can see what I've got left to play with. So if I stick that down, kind of central. Then I can take off the excess at that side. And then we can just free what we've got there. Which makes it a lot easier to work with. Uh, 
and if they I just use my nail um, if it's a larger item I use a paper rubber thimble it gives you a great grip so what I would do is just stick that on my finger and literally seconds and it's off and you can see there that's all frayed off now but take another couple of bits off there Clear all the bits off it. Yep, I like that. Do I want it straight? Yes, I do. So I'm going to use Fabertac again because it's canvas. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to add a couple of sequins because they're circles as well. Now oh, let me see where I put. Um, that's white. White and green. Um, got some pink in here. Pull this one up. Not going daft. I just want a wee splash. So let me just put the lid on this again and the pin on it even. And then I want glossy accents. Someone moved it. Not a happy bun. Oh, I've got it right in front of me. It goes in there. Honestly, right, so I'm going to put in here, we can get it moving, let me grab a pin, Just go back in in case there's any other residue. Perfect. Alright, so I want one here. Little spot. One up there. One here. One there. And one here. Right, let's go. Go wait. Come on, be nice. Stay. Got this one. I've got that one there. Going to go for another white ish down here. And then we'll use the other white up there, I think. Da -da -da. Flip it over and down. Like so. I can never do a very quick video. I always take forever to do everything. And to finish it off, we need a butterfly. Just needs must. 
So I am going to pull out my little fellows and see what I've got here. Mm -hmm. And a little pink tone. That one will work. And I only want one just to finish it off. I want to just there. And I'll just put him down my glossy accent so he doesn't abscond and go elsewhere. So I'll put him on like that. There we go. Give us a wee wipe out. Not that it makes any difference, it'll be blocked again the next time I use it. And I think that's us. I'm just going to try and tidy that up a bit. Maybe it's drying now. There we go. So I hope we've enjoyed that. I hope you can see the circles. They are there. And then we've got the circle sequence. So I did stick to it, more or less. But everybody knows me and I do go a bit rogue. I don't always stick to the plan, as the saying goes. But I'm quite happy with it. So I hope that's inspired you. I hope that you have a wee go and come over and join us. Um, it is a super friendly group and I am sure you'll be happy that you joined. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.